ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's quick finish off the year with the Fairmont update. So the Fairmont has been fine the way it is. It's been together and running and driving. I just haven't been driving it that much. I have a lot going on with some other cars. I am working on one that I just want to finish and not post anything about. Just going to finish the thing and be done with it. And I wanted to get the Fairmont on the roller before the end of the year to, I haven't had any coolant issues, no head gasket, no any issues with this even leaking a drop. So LY6, it has the converter killer cam in it that uh, Texas Speed and I did as a joke. It has that in it. It's not ideal for a square port engine as a few people have said, but at the time it, it was laying around, I just swapped it back in. So anyway, it has the Torque Storm, the LY6, a drop on LS3 intake. Honest, I don't even know what size Snake Eater injectors are in there. I think it has Snake Eaters or Hunter tuned. Uh, I go back and forth a lot with their stuff, so it has either one of those in it. Um, <laughs> embarrassing I don't know maybe we'll go over data logs but it's not that important so it mostly runs about five pounds of boost uh, on the converter almost everywhere and then between that six and seventy two hundred area it throws some in it saw like eight pounds peak at seventy two hundred but that's not like a LSA or a roots blower it, it that is peak it, it climbs and that eight PSI is the absolute peak at 7200 just letting people know it's not like a turbo car that might make 10 flat the whole way or, or similar so yeah it's eight but it's eight at 7200 it's not like it makes eight pounds at 3000 or something it would be very different uh, and hopefully when we pull it up we see that so it's the base smaller 75 millimeter torque storm blower LY6 LS3 intake manifold I have a 044 clone I think or a real one I'm not sure it's filling my surge tank I have a Deech Works is how they pronounce it their triple pump surge tank it has two snake eater 415s in it just running hot all the time one of the issues I had today was I have a six relay fuse panel in the back of the car and I had them mixed up and I was only running on one pump so the lift pump and just one of the 415s and i made a hit around five and change of the tire and fuel pressure was nosing which obviously it shouldn't and then my buddy kenny was there luckily and we just uh pulled stuff in and out and keyed on and off until we found out which ones were which and i ended up having to move my relay to make sure that the twin pumps were actually on it made eight pounds peak. It has a three and a half inch pulley on the stock Torque Storm kit. I believe the three and a half comes with the G8 kit. They gave me a 325 and a 3.0 to test, but I want to redo my belt stuff at home and just go back. Uh, I haven't had the greatest luck out of an, uh, this vehicle, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to do a health check. The other thing, I've been messing with the transmission and I cannot get mine to tap shift, but I think I figured out why. So I have wasted so much time uh, with this vehicle just messing with the tap shift. Like I'll be like, hey, I'm going to drive this. It'll be fun. And I'll go drive it and start messing with that and be annoyed immediately. So this was just like, just go dyno it. It made, I had a pretty soft ignition table in it. It made 510 to the tire. And I put one degree in it in between the fuel pump change. And the fuel pressure is awesome, as it should be with twin pumps. So that fixed that. And one degree picked up 18 rear wheel peak and a lot of chunk in the mid-range. So it might not even have all the ignition it wants already at 8 PSI peak here. About 5 average. And it'll be neat to see... So they gave me a 325 and a 3 inch pulley and then they say with this combination the Corvette Balancer or the 5th gen or the Caprice or the G8 etc they're all it will mechanically overspin the blower with less than a 3 inch 3 is cutting it close I think mathematically 
I did the math with the my rep back and forth. I cannot remember his name. Don't kill me, please. I'm sorry, dude. I know too many people and I am terrible with names. I'm sure some of you can. So we talked about it. He said it would be cool to see me overspin it, but they're not going to give me anything to overspin it. And they void warranties for people doing that. But this will be one of those scenarios where I'm going to throw that pulley on and we're going to dance around the overspin limit and see because he said they've done it and they make power but at a detriment to the the blower itself it sacrifices horsepower per pound a lot of things like you, you can get it but the temperature and everything else it, it doesn't add up so that's what we're going to test we're going to see so i believe i have a 28 a 29 or a 28 from grip tech and we're gonna throw that on. So I might go with the smallest pulley as tight. It's not like crazy, but it's a it's its own ten rib system. So I'll get the grip tech on and go do the dyno and pulley and max effort that tune up. And then I'll come back and maybe put on a middle of the road one and then the three inch one because those aren't far from each other size wise. So it wouldn't be that hard to swap. I forgot a bunch of tools at the dyno. I wanted to swap the pulleys and stuff today. And my buddy Kenny that stopped by, I had the fuel pump issue and I was struggling with my making my tap shift do what I want. And he's like, why don't you just take the end of the year as a win? And you may he filmed this for me. Uh, and he, uh, I said, you know, did you get he said, absolutely. He had PSD or PTSD <laughs> of power stroke diesel. He was worried that it would sauce him with some kind of fluid and just absolutely nothing happened. And that was a little bit disturbing also. So I wanted to go over, everything is doing good in this thing. Shift, drive, start. I haven't even started this thing. I've been bad. I haven't started it like this whole month at all. And I went out and it, I don't think I've started it in 30, 40 days. And it took a bunch of cranking, but I think that's another, that's another symptom and problem of something else uh, I think I got going on. And, and every now and then I have a little bit of a low speed pop slash miss. So... Did I mess up some wiring or says something else going on? We'll find out. We'll get to the bottom of it eventually. But for now, uh, you know, it hazes off these dry, soap-hardened tires in the winter pretty well. And that's exactly all this was meant to be is just kind of, you know, fire off the tire. I'm super annoyed. I don't have my tap shift stuff working. Because I just want to put it in third and just sauce it in and out of the pedal. And it wants to shift all over. I obviously, I messed with my shift points to make them more upper, lower limited. Like it, it, it doesn't, you can notice when I'm screwing around there, it even, I'm doing like 80 and it like, I go part throttle and it goes back into fifth. So it, yeah, I don't want it hanging around. It's so annoying when you have all the ratios and I've been spending so much time trying to make tap work that... You're cruising like 48 and it's in six gear at lockup. Uh, just dumb stuff, right? Uh, yeah, there's a lot to complain about, but everything's working. Everything's doing great. It didn't even leak. Nothing leaked on the floor. Everything's doing good. Gotta, gotta take one, right? Take that W. So all of that's good. As far as the dyno plots looked really good, so I don't think the misfire whatever low speed pop thing that i have going on i don't think it's affecting power but it'll be neat to see this the other pulley in the teens and like the 15 like one bar area and into the high 600s me I, I said if this thing can make like 701 that would be phenomenal and it would be a riot it would be dumb to drive uh, i would love to see it make 701 and then put it on a scale again, like get my friend's corner scales and scale it again, because I've moved so much weight in and out of the car and changed the pumps and do a surge tank and did an iron block and a blower. And yeah, I've changed so much. And the next big thing is the steering has so much play in it somewhere. And I replaced, uh, I replaced the tie rods. And I replaced the steering shaft, which I've never done on a Fairmont. I bought a nice steering shaft and it still is awful. So it's the whole rack, which it's the only manual rack. I've had 
power steering Fairmonts, very few with power steering, most of them with the power steering hooped with you still turning it manually. Honestly, that's almost my preference. And then this has a manual rack and manual brakes and everything. This is like the, the super manual, low budget edition Fairmont. The brakes are awful and the steering is awful still. Like you roll into it and it, it changes direction and you get out of it and it settles funny. And the, the brakes feel like you can feel independent left and right grabbing differently and it's darty and it bump steers and whew, it's it's chaotic so it'd be nice to sort that out usually the cars drive so rock solid you just add the horsepower and laugh about it but i'm like this thing like doesn't want to like the body rolls funny and doesn't return on center and it does it's silly so all that's got to get worked out to be a little bit more confidence inspiring but yeah I probably talked way too long already. So there's a quick end of year update for this guy. It's doing good. It's driving around. I got it out today and smacked it on the dyno. It looks like I finally put my head gaskets in correctly by leaving them the way the GM installed them, which is how I recommend you guys do it also. So let me know if you have questions below for the Fairmont, but I want to pulley and take it back soon and do a little bit more maximizing on that. I absolutely need to get this tap up, tap down working because <clears throat> I want to be able to like paddle off some shifts and burnouts and stuff. And I don't always want to be uh, like power down shifting it. Uh, it's like a my brain won't let me do it. It's so annoying. Um, anyway, the idea of having all the gear ratios is to manipulate them and not have it doing it for you. Anyway, again, what is the guy in the Matrix? I totally lost interest when the guy said vis a vis about 85 times. Maybe it was before all that. There we go. See you later. Okay, thanks. Have a nice new year. Bye.